Nick, all the way in Cape Town, who do you think Warren Gatlin is going to pick and why? Okay, well, if, uh, I mean, he, I'm sure he knows that he has to pick a back three who can handle a number of, of box kicks and, and, and our kicking game. So I think Hogg is, is, is uh, going to play at fullback. Williams is outstanding under the high ball, so he's got very good choice there. But I, I would say Hogg would be selected just on, on experience and, uh, and also his counter-attacking ability. I think uh, Dwayne van der Mever has done a fantastic job and Adams as well, So, but he's got Reece Samet. I would go with size and strength if I was him because if you have to receive our up and unders, and you can keep on your feet and, and, and wait for and wait for support to get to you. It's a big help. So maybe Dwayne van der Merwe and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Adams as well. So, and at centre, that's a difficult one. I think he's going to go, uh, it's Henshaw, I think, as long as he's fit possibly at outside centre. Um, he might go with Farrell at inside centre and uh, Bigger at 10. Um, He'll, that gives him a, a two-kicking game. He's got two flyers who can two flyers, both can pass, both can play out the back or play the guy in front door, back door, as Swayze likes to say. And uh, both have got excellent kicking games. So if he needs to turn the spring box, he's got uh, not only the scrum off, but he's got an inside centre who can do it as well. Um, at scrum off, he uh, Ali Price has played very well, and so has uh, Connor Murray. Uh, a little bit slower to the breakdown, but Connor Murray's experience might get in the start. So. Uh, that'll be, I think, probably Conor Murray and 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 um, and bigger Dan bigger to to start uh, own foul inside centre. Um, then in the forwards, Tate Furlong, best tight end they've got. I think uh, he'll pick the best scrummaging guy. Um, so even though uh, Dickie, Dickie Khan Dicky has played brilliantly and particularly this last game, he's very explosive and uh, and very good on the ground. Great defensive scrum off he uh, hooker rather. Um, he might go with the best scrummaging hooker who might be Owens. Absolutely. Um, I fully uh, agree with that. I think, Nick, that will allow yeah. them to get that go forward set piece-wise. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. I think we've run out of time. Thank you so much for your time, Nick. Uh, once uh, again, great sorry, contribute. Man. Not to worry, man. Swayze, your take? Uh, what can we expect from the Bok team? Yeah, look, I know we're running out of time. I think he's going to go as close as possible to the guys that did the job for us in the, in the World Cup, depending on injuries and, and, uh, and the COVID. All right. Anybody else standing out? I think Pollard will start and things it's like gonna that. It depends on number eight. If Pollard is ready, obviously he's the man. And uh, it all depends on, on, on uh, who's he, what he's going to do at number eight. I'll what, go, what would you do? I'll go Kwaka, uh, because I worked with him name so well. Jasper Visa is good. He's a great guy for the future, but that, that's what I would do. All right, the bench 6 2 has worked for us in the past. Yeah, it's worked um, lovely. What, 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 what would you go with? I mean, uh, no, stick to the same recipe, the same system. They know what's working for them. Not too much changes. Uh, like Nick. Willemse or Francois? Willemse or Stein? Good question, that. Uh, I'll go Willemse. Willemse, why is that? I'll go, if you go 6 2, he covers so many positions. He's 12, he can play now, he showed it. He can play anywhere. Working with him, I've seen it. He can play anywhere.